Spider-Man Dr. Octopus Dark Mastermind, it was a sunny afternoon in New York City when Spider-Man swung through the towering buildings, his red and blue suit shining in the sunlight. Peter Parker, the boy behind the mask, had just finished his schoolwork and was ready to enjoy the rest of the day. But the city was never quiet for long, and something was about to happen that would change everything, a loud crash echoed through the streets as a dark, mysterious figure appeared at the heart of Times Square. It was none other than Dr. Octopus, a villain with four powerful mechanical arms. His mind was as brilliant as it was dangerous, and today, he had a wicked plan that could destroy the city. Spider-Man. Dr. Octopus shouted with a sinister grin. I've had enough of your interference. Today, I will finally crush you and rule this city, Spider-Man swung down and landed with a flip, his webbing twirling in the air. Not so fast, Doc, he said, squaring off with his foe. I've stopped your evil schemes before, and I'll do it again, but Dr. Octopus wasn't working alone. He had created a new invention, a powerful machine designed to control the minds of everyone in New York. The machine stood tall, with wires and screens flashing with strange lights. It had one goal, to turn the entire city into Dr. Octopus' obedient army, you can't stop me, Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus smirked. Once I activate the mind control machine, all the people of New York will follow my every command. Spider-Man knew he had to act quickly. He couldn't let Dr. Octopus take control of the city. With a deep breath, he shot webs at the machine, but it was too strong. The webs didn't stick, and the machine hummed with power, ha! Huh? You can't defeat me with just webs, Spider-Man. Dr. Octopus laughed. Now, witness the power of my dark mind. The machine activated, and suddenly, the ground shook. Spider-Man felt dizzy as if a strange force was pulling at his mind. For a moment, he couldn't focus, and his thoughts became foggy. He fought to stay in control, but Dr. Octopus' machine was working its magic, come on, Peter. Stay strong, Spider-Man thought to himself, remembering the many battles he'd faced before. He had always been able to overcome challenges, and he wasn't going to let this villain win, then, Spider-Man had an idea. He quickly shot a web to the nearby streetlight and swung himself around it, building up speed. With all his strength, he hurled himself toward Dr. Octopus and grabbed one of the robotic arms. He twisted and turned it, trying to break it free from the machine's controls, you may have your tricks, Spider-Man, but you're no match for me. Dr. Octopus yelled, but Spider-Man wasn't giving up. With a final, powerful tug, he snapped one of the mechanical arms off the machine, causing sparks to fly. The mind control machine sputtered and groaned, losing its power. The lights flickered, and the strange pull on Spider-Man's mind faded away, no. Dr. Octopus screamed, his plans crumbling. You, you ruined everything, with the machine destroyed and Dr. Octopus' control broken, the villain tried to flee, but Spider-Man quickly tied him up with his webs. Looks like your dark mind didn't work this time. Doc, Spider-Man said, watching as the authorities arrived to take Dr. Octopus away, the people of New York were safe again, and Spider-Man had once again saved the day. As the sun began to set, Spider-Man swung into the sky, ready for his next adventure, knowing that as long as he was around, no villain could ever conquer his city, and with that, the streets of New York were peaceful once more.